Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is October 9th, 2014, and I wanted to show some things about this series of paintings by Peter Waddell. The Freemasons hired this painter to paint 22 cryptic paintings showing reaching the age of reason, the end of the age, and the fifth age of the Bible. And you can see here they even call it the initiated eye for being able to spot all of the different secrets and things that they hide right inside of all of these at this point. Now over in Spain, they have just euthanized this one dog named Excalibur. We showed before that this is like a spiritual message. The end of the time of the dog means the end of the time of the Gentiles and the end of grace and mercy. And then the second horseman and the first horseman of the apocalypse get up and he gets a great sword just like Excalibur. Just right here for World War III, they need this great sword. See the second seal is war. You need to have the Conqueror, which is the White Horse, and then the Red Horse. They ride together to start World War III. See the Red. And they have to get this great sword, or they can't start World War III. They need Excalibur for that through there. But this is what that represents. The end of the time of the dog, and they get their sword, Excalibur. We're going to show some of this over there today. Ebola has also been being tested now in L.A. This as I showed several months ago, this is getting worse. And, and don't forget, human nature is to do nothing. I mean literally nothing. No preventative, not trying to save water. I mean, how many people have even gone out and got a little surgical mask? I don't see anybody wearing any of these things. When, when my wife took, a, took our daughter to the hospital the other day for just a routine thing, not a single person in there, thousands of people, nobody wearing any type of little face mask or anything. This is ready to spread around the world. In Africa, it has already doubled as the people in charge keep saying, don't panic, don't panic. And it just keeps on spreading. This is going to go around the world when World War III starts and it's sent by Jesus Christ and God. This is meant to be happening. You have to realize that, that there's this balance going on. Now these 22 paintings, let's take a look at some of these. First off, it shows from these ashes. The USA is going to be burned with fire, done, gone, and the New World Order will rise. All the way down through here. But I wanted to take a look at these two. A vision unfolds and a meeting at the end of the day. This one here is a vision unfolds. And we'll show that Jesus Christ is its a balance right through here. This is the way it looks right here. Do you see the guy in red sitting on the earth? See this here? This is the Satan figure right here. This is a painting of an old meeting that George Washington had. But all of these paintings are showing the end of days coming. This guy right here represents Satan running the earth. This is the Obama character right here, for he will be just as Judas, just as in the Bible, Satan entered into Judas before he betrayed Jesus Christ. This is the Satan figure running the earth. This is the father figure over here. Now do you see how this, this one right here has like a woman's hair on top? This is part of the Pallades right here. The seven angels, the seven churches, the seven golden candlesticks, and Jesus' right hand, considered to be heaven. You can see as the sextant right here looks like Satan. See it right here? And over here, I didn't get a chance to do it, but see these lights coming down and going into here? Jesus Christ is actually in a shadow standing right here beside George Washington. In real simple terms, blue means Israel and the tr Jacob. God's chosen people and all of us Gentiles that have been grafted into the tree we have been grafted in by Jesus Christ adopted the red means Esau and the tide of Edom and the butchers coming we're nearing the end of the time of the blue 
Now do you see over here? The people, we have to ascend from here with Jesus Christ to go to the promised kingdom, to the Pallades, right here. See this? All that. Now here is the foot of God. Do you see this urn? For those that know the legend of Pandora's box, Pandora's box was first shown as an urn. This means the time of trouble coming on the earth, right here. When Jesus Christ's heel is bruised and the head of the serpent is bruised. When Obama betrays everybody. And then this is opened. The Great Tribulation and Pandora's box, Pandora's urn, is opened. Here is Pandora's box and it was originally seen as an urn. You have to remember as you're learning these things that nobody else knows this stuff. They don't even know that Pandora's box is actually an urn. And that's why when they look at something like this, they can't figure any of this out. None of it, even though it's going by scripture. Over here, when the betrayal happens, see the red guy entering into Obama basically? This represents the rapture part. We go right through the middle. See how Washington looks like the bull? Well, we have to remember that nobody knows any of these simple things. Let's show this quickly. See Taurus the bull, and then the Pallades sits on the shoulder. Isn't it amazing that this is why people can't figure this stuff out? I mean, we're almost six minutes into this video, and we're really not even at the point and part that I wanted to show yet, because nobody knows any of these things. I mean, none of it. Zero. So there is like the blue bull, the blue Kachina, and the red bull is coming, and that is when Pandora's box will be opened. And then you can see over here that the guillotines begin for having people to have to get to heaven, or they have to take the mark of the beast. Well, I wanted to show how all of this is just right in front of us, and it's going according to the script of the Bible. Now let's head over and take a look at this other area. Let's take a look at this right here. You see this one right here? The meeting at the end of the day. This is going to show Jesus Christ starting the beginning of the end. Do you see the White House back here? When as it's looking at us, see like this is the right hand of him, the right hand side is finished. Jesus Christ is done building his side. The left hand side is considered to be Satan, who sits at the left hand of God. Jesus sits at the right side. So now we're entering the time of the red for them to rise, and he will have but a short time. See the blue? And he's shaking the hand with this guy in green. The four horsemen standing right here just like the last horse is seen as the pale horse, which is green. The red horse is Satan, which is red. Do you see the man pushing down right here by the two eyes to go through the, the checkerboard floor? Do you see the, the star pentagram thing right here? And that's when Satan is revealed right there. There is Satan coming. Perfect. See there? There he is. World War III, the second horseman, the end of the time of the dog. They get that Excalibur sword. Now over here, you can actually see Jesus Christ right here in the middle, and he's giving out to the last horseman, death. And he's giving out this little Eucharist. There's Jesus. As I said, it's all a balance. This is the host Eucharist, like the Catholic Church uses. Most people have no idea of these things I, I show you, even though it's all in the Bible. See, he's handing it over to the green of Islam will rise. That ISIS group is coming. You can see right down here is the barn for all of the wise virgins to go to. And then right here is a person being beheaded. It's all going by the script perfectly. Right? Daniel, the book of Daniel. And out of one of them came forth a little horn which waxed exceedingly great toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land, and it waxed great even to the host of heaven. And it cast down some of the host of the stars to the ground and stamped on them. Yea, he magnified himself even to the prince of the host, and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away. The Vatican will fall, and the daily sacrifice is the Holy Eucharist of Jesus Christ. Most churches do this already, even if you just break bread. And the place of his sanctuary was cast down. The Vatican will fall. And an host was given him against the daily sacrifice, the reason of the transgression. This is called a host. 
a host Eucharist, this little thing here. And he's given it to these guys right here, to the four horsemen, to go off and deceive the world. See how all of this is being brought by Jesus Christ even? When he lets Satan loose on the world? When Jesus is done with his right hand side and building his part of heaven. And then the left hand side is coming during this birth. Right there, see how he's pushing down for the birth? Look at that, all right in front of us. Avalon is where they say King Arthur comes from. Now, the Satan figure has also been seen as Pan. We've shown how all of the earth is mapped out like this. Here comes Pan. See him right here? Hopping along, right there. And he's coming from Avalon. He will get the great sword. Now we need the time of the end of the dog. Do you see how he's falling? And he falls right on this. Let's show this here. He falls right on top of the dog. Right there. And then Jesus' ark of his testament is launched. Right there. See the stone? This represents the rock, Jesus Christ. And this is the ark of his testament. See how this ship is ready to be launched? Right there. See that? Perfect. Right there. There's the Ark of Jesus' Testament. And at the end of the time of the dog. And then they will, he will be on earth and he will get his great sword from Avalon to rise up and do all of those things. Right here. ISIS and Islam are coming. So is Satan. The United States government is not going to stop them. They are going to help set everything up for the end of days as it's going. The British government isn't going to stop it. The Russian government, they're not going to stop Ebola. They're going to keep putting those people out there and saying that they're starting to get it under control. And every month it's doubling and doubling and doubling. And now they're already testing people all the way across the whole earth, all the way over to Los Angeles. They are literally having to test people for Ebola now. This is real, and it's right in front of us. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There's Jesus handing out the host, fulfilling the book of Daniel. Let's put it this way. You would not believe how many things that we have just, how we have just set the road straight for Jesus Christ. Nearly nobody on the world knows what this means. Nobody, except for me and you, because Jesus Christ opened us all up to understand.